Newton's first law states that every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless acted upon by an external force. Here are some examples. In a frictionless scenario, an object will continue to move without an acceleration because there is no external force acting upon it. In an almost real life example with an endless air hockey table, the puck, which encounters no friction from the surface beneath it, will continue to slide forever. Or at least until somebody scored. In a scenario including the external force of friction, the object eventually halts because friction is a force that opposes motion. This more real life example shows how friction acts on an object you might drop in the hallway at school. As stated before, friction is a force that opposes motion and causes objects to come to a halt, just like that binder in the hallway. This last example analyzes forces acting on a projectile. As soon as the motorbike is in the air, there are no more forces acting on, on the x-axis. However, since we live on this wonderful planet, there is the constant force of gravity acting on everything. Gravity acts on the y-axis and pushes the bike back down to Earth. Now to an activity most of us can actually accomplish, unlike backflips on a motorbike. Tori and I are going to throw this ball back and forth, and neglecting air resistance, you should observe a ball that is only accelerating in the y direction. If not, we're doing something very wrong. That covers Newton's first law. Now moving on to Newton's second law. Newton's second law states the relation between mass, force, and acceleration, more commonly known as the statement F equals ma. Solving this equation for acceleration gives us acceleration equals force divided by mass. So objects of a larger mass will not accelerate as much as objects of a smaller mass. No matter how hard I try, I cannot make this house accelerate. But objects with a smaller mass will accelerate. <laughs> Newton's third and final law of motion states that for every action force, there's an equal but opposite reaction force. My favorite example of this is a rocket taking flight. We all know that rockets have big engines that consume rocket fuel and make a big cloud on initial liftoff. But what we don't see is that the rocket is exerting a force down on the ground. Newton's third law of motion applies here. The equal but opposite reaction is the ground pushing back up on the rocket, causing it to shoot into the air. Those are Newton's three laws of motion in a nutshell. We hope you enjoy watching and learned a little from all this.